University Teachers Association of Ghana has served notice to withdraw its services on January 10. Now, President of the University of Ghana chapter, Dr. Samuel Nkuban, attributed it to the absence of the Labour Market Survey report, which has deprived teachers of their premium. Frank, with you, what is the problem is the Labour Market Survey thing. And this has been on the drawing table since 2013. It's not a recent matter. So from 2013, government froze the then market premium, which was being enjoyed by members on grounds that they needed to do this labor market survey to determine the skill sets and the ones that do require payment of market labor, uh, market premium. And 2019, we had to take the decision probably to go on strike and then the indication was that by 20, end of 2020, the labor market survey will be ready. And so we didn't have to uh, go that route. And 2020 came to pass without the labor market survey. And so it's as though uh, for failure of government and its assigns to do what they had to do, we are suffering. The labor market survey uh, document was supposed to have been done from 2013. And so the market, the interim market premium, which we were enjoying, stood at 114% of basic salary. It got frozen at that point. But given that there is annual increment on basic pay, as we speak, we are doing averaging less than 50% of basic pay as interim market premium. Okay. And so the indication is that our conditions have become worsened by the day. And it is... It is not our fault. It is the fault of government's inability to compute the labor market survey and to place us on a premium that is supposed to be what we should be getting. Okay. And so for us, okay. uh, we've, we've been uh, more than the word sufficient uh, patient and it's gotten to the point where we think that um, if we don't take some stringent measures and actions, then of course it's as though we are being taken for granted.